It was a much nicer day. We were warmer, thawing out a little bit, so a real big deep freeze is sort of kicking out of here. It was still a little chilly in some areas. We have 39 right now in Craig and Steamboat Springs, also in Frisco. 50, though, right now in Aspen or in Denver and for Boulder. 47 in Fort Collins, 43 out in Burlington. So much warmer for everyone today. We saw a lot more melting here across the Front Range. We have 49 degrees from our Weather Watcher Ed team in Northeast Alamosa. And looking at our almanac for today, 53 out of DIA, 54 downtown. So about a 10 degree jump from yesterday and a much improved uh, temperature compared to the 16 that we had on Monday. 61 degrees is our normal. So again, we are so far from normal, uh, but we are getting a little bit closer to it and we'll get there by Friday. So looking at our temperatures so far this month, it was started off as a very warm October for us, but the last week or so has certainly been below average. So we now have 11 days with below average temperatures. So really, you know, that 16 stands out quite a bit for us. We're going to add another uh, blue box as we head into Thursday, most likely get another one on Saturday. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar because there is actually a little bit of moisture in Colorado right now down into that southeastern corner of the state. We talked about this yesterday. There is a little system still down in that area that's moving out of here. So as it does, it is pulling in some moisture into that southeastern part of the state. The Texas Panhandle has some snow right now. We have rain heading up into parts of Kansas and Oklahoma. And actually, Hurricane Zeta did make landfall already in Louisiana. This is a fast moving storm and it is already racing to the north. For us, though, across the west, we are looking at that low to keep moving on to the east as high pressure is going to build back into the west, and that means we are dry for a while. We do have a very weak dry front that's going to pass through on Saturday, and as it does, it will cool us off a little bit. So we aren't as warm as we were earlier anticipating, but we aren't going to plummet like we did earlier this week. So future cast for tonight, still that little bit of rain and snow for a while longer. After that, we clear out, and then tomorrow morning, we wake up to sunshine, and we stay that way throughout the afternoon. Now the East Troublesome Fire and Cameron Peak fires are still burning. So in some areas we are seeing that smoke settle back in. Of course, some of the uh, kind of smoldering uh, ashes from so what, the, what the snow help put out is creating bad air quality. So for Grand and Larimer County, we do still have air quality alerts. They're back in place. Again, these fires are still burning. Temperatures tonight, much better than the last couple of nights. 26 in Denver, 24 in Fort Collins. Low to mid 20s out east. Teens for the most part in the high country with some 20s. We have eight in Craig and Alamosa. Those will be our chilly spots tonight. And then tomorrow, 59 in Denver. So we jump a little bit more for us. Uh, 53 in Fort Collins, 57 in Boulder, low 50s for the northeastern plains, 55 in Frisco, 55 for Aspen and Grand Junction. And looking at our socially distanced trick or treat forecast for us, we know that we can't have the big parties. So if you do go trick or treating, temperatures will be in the 40s throughout trick or treat time. Or even if you're just, you know, hanging out in your backyard. I don't know what you're going to do on Halloween. I can't think of anything either. So if whatever you're doing, eating candy, maybe that will help keep you warm. And then for our five day forecast, 60s on Friday, 57 on Saturday. Again, just a little bit cooler. And then we're in the 70s again by Monday. That still looks pretty good, though. Very nice. Yeah, it's not too bad. No, thanks, Lauren.